alien. They do alien things, things that are alien. On this channel, we love to talk about love, light, joy, and peace. Uh, a little bit about my personal experiences with contacting the Galactic Federation of Light. <laughs> Um, that probably sounded like alien, foreign, tongue to you. Maybe this is the way they communicate. We have a special light language singing bowl session where we will be tapping into getting out of our own way. <laughs> That's it working out for you. Why should they speak the way we do? They're aliens! We have a special light language singing bowl session. Like that. Um, that probably sounded like alien, foreign tongue to you, um, to some, but it might resonate in your soul in some level. What the fuck? I'd never heard the name Galactic Federation of Light until around like a year ago. So I feel like the name, it, it, it holds its own vibrational frequency and power, but it's more of representing um, a bigger source. <laughs> What we must understand is that angels and demons is another dualistic view of the one true creator, which um, he shows this polarity to show how it can be united as one. She spent a lot of time um, here at home, um, so she like to talk to intimate objects you know trees especially that i spent a lot of time alone as a kid i had a lot of time to talk to in rocks trees things right i love crystals but i spent a lot of time alone is the, the moral of the story i used to talk to myself and other imaginary friends in my head peculiar thing when you look at these people and see they have a very active imagination. They had an active imagination when they were a child. Very active indeed. They had imaginary friends and they can't deal with everyday life now as an adult. So how do they deal with their inability to deal with modern life? The same way they dealt with issues as a child. They crawl into fantasy. Mystical, spiritual belief that makes them feel okay. It's a crutch. <sighs> Going back to galactic entities, realizing that, okay, they are there already. We just cannot perceive them in the typical way that we are used to perceiving things. It's science. But there are a lot of light spectrums that we cannot perceive. We know that there is a visual field of light, and that is what we see. But we also know that there are many different forms of light, that their frequency is so high that we cannot perceive them. That does not ne negate that they are not there. What? Why should they speak the way we do? They're aliens! If you want to be aware of more of what you actually are able to perceive and to increase that threshold of perception, then you need to meditate because it sharpens your senses of how the stimulated reality works. The matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now in this very room. So by really allowing yourself to be in that state of awareness of your current being, everything that is going on, you are increasing attention and awareness. You are perceiving so much more than what you are perceiving. You're just not aware that you're perceiving it, if that makes sense. What the fuck? I've been swimming in raw sewage. I love it.